You're not my mom and you never will be. Little Pound Cake enjoys go-go juice, winning Ultimate Grand Supreme, anus jokes, the color pink, and being a straight up mother beep 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 pig. Hey guys, it's Angie and welcome to a makeup collaboration amongst myself and some amazing makeup artists. Today we are doing a theme of drag queens and we have makeup by Nemisa and she is doing a Fifi O'Hara look. Next we have Vanity Venom and she is doing a Sharon Needles Rupocalypse look. And finally we have Makeup Mouse and she is doing an Acid Betty inspired makeup. So I do hope you guys enjoy this collaboration. Make sure to check out these ladies, they are incredible. Otherwise let's get Alaska and Lanaysha's Little Pound Cake started. Prior to filming, I covered my eyebrows using a glue stick and I applied a little concealer over that to camouflage the dark hairs. Next, I based out the eyes with a white foundation. This one is from Krylon. It's their super color in white. And I sponged on that cream so it wouldn't disturb the glue stick underneath. Then I went in with a layer of powder of the baby and I made sure to add lots of powder to set that cream. With a black eyeliner, I started to sketch in the shape for the eyes. Little Pound Cake has a very strong wing liner going on, with the edge of the liner extending upwards towards the forehead. Next, with that same black liner, I sketched in the crease, and the inner portion of that crease is going to rest just inside the bridge of the nose. Then it's going to arch over into the wing liner and create a false eyelid. For the crease color, I ended up mixing the pink and the blue from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette to create a purple cream. And then I applied that into the crease with a fluffy brush, blending it out. I'm going to build up these colors on the crease in layers, just because I don't want to disturb the eyebrows underneath. To clean up that line shape on the edge, I just used a makeup remover wipe and swiped it upwards to remove the excess makeup. On top of the purple cream in the crease, I'm going to begin building a layer of Sugar Pills Poison Plum Eyeshadow. To get the purple pretty smooth, I had to do a lot of blending and layering, so I just went in with some white eyeshadow, blended out the edges of the purple, then I went and added more purple, then it added more white. It's definitely a layering process. Next, I deepen the area right above the crease line with a matte black eyeshadow. And I definitely took my time here blending as well, making sure to really blend the purple and the blacks together. I did go ahead and add a bit of a matte hot pink eyeshadow to the top inner portion of the eye and I blended it down into the purple. To the inner portion of my false lid below the crease line, I added a white matte shadow. And now it's time to fill in that wing. I'm using an aqua cream from Makeup Forever to fill in the shape that I sketched in from the start. You definitely want to make sure your lines are crisp and sharp. And definitely focus on getting that outer line as straight as you can. I darkened the crease line with a little bit of the aqua cream and then blended a black eyeshadow over it. And magically through the power of editing my other eye is done. Wouldn't it be nice if that was real life? The outer portion of the eyelid was looking a little too bright so I blended the purple eyeshadow into the white. Can somebody please bring me my go-go juice? My sugar's dropping. Since the eyes are pretty much done, I went ahead and added my foundation, and I'm using the Krylon Super Color again. I think I've used this product in almost every video recently. I guess I really just like how it blends. And you know the drill, I'm going to be using Powder the Baby to set that cream. And if you're not using Powder the Baby, you're not doing drag. With a matte black shadow, I'm going to go ahead and sketch in Little Pound Cake's brows. Her brows are very dramatic. They definitely tell a story. So you definitely want to look at a picture of Little Pound Cake so you can get that story correct. Over the black eyeshadow, I went ahead and applied the black aqua cream just to darken the brows a little further. I swept a little poison plum underneath the eye with a bullet brush. And then I deepened that with a matte black eyeshadow. 
After curling the lashes, I applied about 15 coats of black mascara. 15 to be exact. Underneath the eye, I ran a little bit of black liner just to give a base for my lashes. The lashes I'm applying to the lower lid are from Sugar Pill. I just kind of cut them up to make them look like little pound cakes. The lashes that I applied on top are the Red Cherry 199s. For that iconic circle blush, I'm applying another Aqua Cream from Make It Forever, using a fluffy brush and just blending it out in circles. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply Sugar Pill's Hot Pink Eyeshadow just to intensify that pink. Little Pound Cake's cheeks are very, very rosy. Next, I extended the nostril using a bit of black eyeshadow. It's really hard to see what I'm doing, but I just drew in a little triangle at the top of my nostril. I added a little more depth to the face using a gray eyeshadow. I just used that to contour my cheekbones and my temples and underneath my jaw. To finish off with the lips, I'm going to start outlining that shape with a black eyeshadow. The top lip is very much overdrawn and the outer corners of the lips extend down and outwards. The bottom lip's a little bit smaller and curves up to meet the top lip. Creates a really pouty look. Once I was happy with that lip shape, I filled it in using Urban Decay's Psycho Vice Lipstick. And I deepened the black line of the lips with a little more eyeshadow. And finally, I finished off those lips with a hot pink glitter. After I put on my costume, I added the final little layer of white foundation to my neck and chest. This costume is something I made really quick using like 40 yards of pink tulle and hair bands and a tank top. Just cut out strips of tulle and then hair banded them together onto the straps of the tank top. And that's going to be a wrap on this little pound cake makeup tutorial and this collaboration with three other awesome ladies. Make sure to check out their videos below. They are awesome. I love them. I love their work. I think they're fantastic. So I think you guys will too. I got to say that I love this theme and I love Alaska and I love Little Pound Cake. So congratulations, Alaska. You're awesome. You're genius and you totally deserve to win. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys later and happy Halloween.